It is official. Tommy Fury is boxing's biggest bitch. He has pulled out of the fight. The Furies have pulled out of the fight due to a medical condition. Uh, who knows what the fuck is going on in that camp? I think he has a bad case of prositis. I couldn't believe the news at first. Does, it still doesn't even seem real. Uh, he fumbled the biggest bag of his life. Now he will be watching at home, paying me $60 instead of getting paid millions of dollars to fight me. Uh, I fought with a broken nose. I fought sick. Get the fuck over it. This is boxing. Uh, it's official. He, he was scared. I think the pressure got to him. The shit talk got to him. That's the bad news, guys. The good news is, is that Mr. Tyron Woodley, we called him up. We were like, hey, you want to take the fight? He has been training. He goes, sure, I'll take the fight. Let's do the rematch. Run it back. I'm giving him $500,000 extra if he can knock me out. Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley, too. Leave no doubt. I didn't knock him out the first time. I'm coming back, and I'm getting that crazy W, the crazy highlight real knockout. December 18th, the show must go on. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everyone right now is pretty excited to see Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. And let's be real, this fight is very important to a lot of us because it basically proves if Jake Paul was even good at boxing. And the same for Tommy. But I've just found out by looking at the news that... <laughs> well, I don't really know how to explain this. I'm just gonna say it how it is really so it turns out that tommy fury has decided that he is no longer fighting jake paul in december yes tommy has actually backed out of this fight <laughs> who the hell would have thought that was happened so what i'm going to do real quick right now is i'm just going to show you one of the articles obviously right now we don't all know know the details so it's very broad so what i'm going to do is basically tell you what's going on what I think is going on and give you pretty much my opinion on it. So this will be quite opinionated this. So if I say something and it comes out to not be true, don't worry. I'm not saying this is facts. It's just what I think has happened. Okay, so the title of this article is Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul is called off with Tyron Woodley to step in to fight the YouTube star instead. Oh, for God's sake. So Tommy Fury's grudge match against the YouTuber Jake Paul has been called off according to reports. The Mirror claims that Fury has pulled out of this weekend's bout with Paul, instead expected to fight Tyron Woodley as a last minute replacement. Now, here's the thing. So let me know in the comments down below if you even care if Jake Paul fights Tyron Woodley. Right now, for me, it doesn't interest me at all. So obviously the biggest problem with this is as Tommy is basically pulled out so early from this fight, there's no way that they can say, okay, we're not going to have a fight because obviously a bunch of people have already bought the tickets and replacing Tommy Fury with Tyron Woodley is not going to be the best idea, let's be honest. Because, look, here's the thing. People want to see Tommy Fury fight Jake Paul because he is a boxer. Tommy Fury is the only person realistically that has a chance at beating Jake Paul. Whether you think he's good or bad, he should on paper beat him yes the Tyron Woodley fight was good but a bunch of people have paid to watch Tommy and Tyron Woodley is not the same as Tommy there's a completely different narrative there people have bought this fight specifically to see Tommy so replacing him with Tyron Woodley I guarantee is going to piss off a lot of people if I've paid if I paid for this fight and I found out that he was fighting Tyron Woodley again I'd want my damn money back because I've already seen that fight and there's no hype no hype whatsoever like at all for Jake Paul fighting Tyron Woodley again. We thought that was done. So this article goes on and says. It says the pair were due to meet in Florida on Sunday. But Fury the brother of the heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury. Is said to have missed training due to illness in recent days. Though no reason for his withdrawal has yet been confirmed. Paul beat UFC fighter Woodley in Cleveland earlier this year to his unbeaten professional record to four fights on the same card as Fury when he beat Anthony Taylor. Heated exchange between the pair, Betty Betty Bear. Fury, who bouts a 7 0 record of his own, would have been Jake Paul's first professional opponent after the 24 year old claimed wins against two former MMA stars and an ex. Uh, and an ex basketball player and a fellow that's exactly what i just said so basically you know the reason why people have bought this fight in the first place is because people want to see jake fight a boxer and that is exactly what they're going to get well no that's what people thought they were going to get and now we're back to this bullshit where people you know, where jake's fighting people who we think he's going to win against anyway 
In a fiery press conference ahead of the fight, Fury was <laughs> in bullish mood about his chances of taking blah, 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 blah. He says, I don't care what he says, does or thinks because it's not important because when he jumps through those ropes on December 18th and when he realises I'm not a YouTuber, I'm not a basketball player, I'm not a wrestler, I'm not a UFC guy, he will get hit with a nice sharp jab. First things first, surely you'd want to say he's going to get hit with a right hook or something, maybe not a jab. <laughs> That's basically it. So when you type in Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, it's just all about him leaving and there's no like Tyron Woodley released a statement after securing oh I haven't even read this yet Tyron Woodley released a statement after securing Jake Paul rematch as Tommy Fury pulls out Tyron Woodley is excited to get to, I've literally I haven't read this before go away so yeah basically at the moment nobody actually knows what the hell is going on all we know is right now is that Tommy Fury has pulled out and Tyron Woodley is now replacing him now Obviously, for many reasons, which I, well, very few reasons that I just said earlier, that would piss me off because we're not, no one's gassed about seeing Tyron Woodley fight again. Why do I think that Tommy Fury has pulled out of this? To be honest with you, I think one of the main reasons why Tommy might not be doing this fight at the moment is obviously Tyson is training him, he's being his coach, and I honestly think that Tyson might have turned to him and said, mate, you're not going to beat Jake Paul. I just don't think you are. And I think Tommy was like, nah, nah, I am, I am. And, you know, T Tyson might just be like, look, I love you, but I just don't see this in you. I don't think you're going to do it. I reckon Tommy was like, oh, okay then, fuck this. Put, pull the fight off. And, you know, because obviously it's a bit weird how there isn't just a concrete statement as to why. Like, they're saying some people, like I've read a few articles before this, some people were saying that Tommy is pulled out because of illness. Some people have pulled out because of an injury. Who knows? I honestly just think that, you know, Team Fury don't... I think they're just trying to buy time. Um, and I think they need to keep training Tommy. Um, because I just don't think that they believe that uh, Tommy's going to get this done. I really don't. Because obviously, you know, like maybe two weeks ago or whatever, John Fury was basically coming out saying that uh, Jake Paul was refusing to take any drug tests. And I think I think even back then, they were thinking about calling this fight off. And I think they were just wanting any excuse in order to not take this fight. Um, I think they've thought, okay, yes, there's a bunch of money here, but our reputation's on the line and we just don't think you're ready, Tommy. I think that's, yeah, genuinely, I think that's what it is. But whatever statement comes out, I'm just going to say, right, this is my opinion now. We might hear the official statement and there might be a genuine reason why. Um, but that's what I think is uh, actually going on here. Um, Tyron Woodley. <laughs> I don't know. Will he beat Jake Paul? Who knows? I mean, obviously, this is brilliant for Tyron Woodley. Like, he's laughing. He's now getting even more money than probably the last fight. I, I don't know. I just, you know, just Jake is probably going to be sat there laughing his ass off at this. Um, and... You know, he he may be laughing at Tommy and everything, but the truth is, if Tyron Woodley doesn't hesitate like he did in the first fight, you know, we could have Jake Paul's first loss here. I don't know what's going to happen. I literally do not know. I'd probably say that Jake Paul will win because every time I say that he isn't going to win, he wins. But this one is very difficult. I'm not too sure. Um... Let me know in the comments down below if you think Tyron Woodley will win this rematch. Um, I'm doing this completely, this whole video, I had no script for it, so sorry if it's a bit mishmashy and all of that. Um, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And of course, give this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one, everyone. I'll keep you updated. Take it easy. Peace!